these boys around here, they go out and they get a card printed up. They get them a t-shirt and a hat, and they're a contractor. No license? There's no, no license. You don't have to have a license in Oklahoma. Only electrician and plumbing. Wow. Get your card printed. And that's why we're installing a solar system out here without permits. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Oklahoma. Yeah. Most people think that you need an engineer, permits, and thousands of dollars of equipment to install solar panels. Out here, no codes, no permits, just know-how. Today, I'm building a full eight-panel ground mount for solar that anyone can do. When we're finished here, you'll know how to line up your post, get the perfect solar angle for your solar panels for your location, and save thousands of dollars doing it yourself. Let's start from zero. This weekend, I'm setting the 4x4 post in concrete for the frame. The front row is going to be about 4 feet above the ground, and the back row is going to be about 8 feet above the ground. This will give me the perfect tilt that's about 36 degrees for my area here in Oklahoma. I'm using this auger here with two men, but if you have to do it by yourself, you can still pull it off. The holes are about 2 foot deep. They're going to be filled with concrete. Again, the front post shorter and the back post longer to get that angle we need. Be sure to set the post while the concrete's wet so you can fine tune your alignment. I'm going to use a cheap level and string line here to keep everything true. Once the posts are set, we're going to add these 2x4s here diagonally. We're only going to be putting them on the back post here. You never want the wind to come up against your rack here and it not be strong enough. So we're doing five posts here on the front and we have all of those drilled already. The next thing to do is to drill the back post here. But before we do that, I think we're going to go ahead and set the front post in concrete. That way we will be able to square the whole structure up a lot easier. All right, so we have the whole front row put on here. Now we're working on the angle. As you can see, we have our angle here, which we're going with at about 32 degrees. Yeah, so the next thing to do is uh, get these posts in the back here and get the back squared up with the front. And uh, we'll continue on building the back up. Okay, now that we have the rack put up here, we ran into a little dilemma. The dilemma is the solar panels and the wiring on the solar panels. So originally we were going to put up eight solar panels here, but when we did the math, we would have to wire them in twos and that would cause us to have four sets of two. And with a 120 foot run over here, towards the house, that's not gonna be good because that's going to require us to have two gauge PV wire. So the question is, how many solar panels can we have with this inverter? Also being that we're adding an extra solar panel, we're gonna have to go ahead and add two more posts here on the end and extend it out just a little bit more. Okay, finally the entire rack is done and we're gonna put the panels on now. Okay, here's what we're going to be using to mount the panels to the wooden rack. It's kind of like what they call plumber's tape. These are self-tapper screws. Goes right into the aluminum with ease. We're gonna see now that we have the panels up here, exactly what that angle says it is. Really hard to see. 32.6. So almost 33 degree angle here. Um, what's ideal year round here in Oklahoma is 34 to 36. So uh, yeah, we're doing real good here. All right, so we're gonna keep knocking these panels out get the rest of these put up, and then we're gonna go around the backside and wire them up. So yeah, keep in mind, as we put these solar panels up, these things are only gonna run you around $113 a piece. You'll be able to click on the links and buy these exact panels if you decide to build a system like this. All 
All right, guys, very last panel. Well, as I mentioned before, I had to add this last panel. I already had the eight panels and needed one more, and this panel was identical in the same wattage, the voltage, and the amps. So although it looks different, it's actually going to work with these other panels the same. So now what we've got to do is run the three sets uh, together. So you're going to have these are going to come together, and then these three here are going to come together, and then these last three down here are going to come together. Yeah, so let's get that done real quick. All right, so we're going to put the positive and the negative together here, and then we're going to come down here and put the positive and the negative together here. And uh, what that does is that gives us our one, two, three panels here together. Now we're going to have a positive come off here, and down here at the other end is going to be the negative. So now we'll go to the second set of three here. We're gonna do the same thing. So we'll take these center ones, basically. We're gonna hook them together. So you've got one, two, and then our third one here. <clears throat> we're gonna hook it together. Okay, now we're going to the third and the last set of panels here. And once again, the same thing. We're going to Hook the positive and the negative from these two panels together. And I did this earlier. I hooked the positive and the negative to these two together. And once again, on the ends, here's our positive. And on our third panel right here, here's our negative. And now with those all being hooked together, now we've got to tie these three sets of panels together. So positive and negative from that set, positive and negative from that set, and positive and negative from that set, all are going to go to a single positive and negative. And how we're gonna do that is we're going to run them to something called a combiner box. Okay, so this is our combiner box and it is by EcoWorthy. And this is the box that we're going to combine all of the solar panels together in. All right, cool. All right, guys, we got everything wired up here into the combiner box. In the next video, I'll show you how to wire these panels up to the inverter and the batteries that are gonna be placed inside the house. Remember, if you're looking for a budget solar panel system like this, you can find the links in the description of the video. You'll be able to buy 390 watt solar panels for $113 each.